My name is Stuart Santana. I had a back injury, so I had two bulge discs, and um, for whatever reason, it was impacting my sciatic nerve. Mm -hmm. So I came into the office with a recurring and consistent uh, sciatic nerve pain. Previous to getting treatment on a continuous, you know, continuous basis, uh, my back would just go out, and I'd be laying there on the ground for a couple hours, like, oh, just dying. I mean, I know it's ridiculous because I'm, I'm so young. And my lower back would constantly feel sore, and I'd feel stiff, you know, just from being in this position for too long. I mean, I used to get frustrated very quickly because when you're constantly in pain, you know, it's like that extra little thing is, will just irritate you more. But I came here because my neighbor, who's very picky, very picky particular uh, individual, <laughs> Um, he recommended you guys. The treatments have been working quite well for me. Uh, and it's like a maintenance issue on a vehicle. Unfortunately for me, the check engine light goes on a little more frequently than others. But my back hasn't, you know, gone out since I started. So really, the chiropractor has just loosened up uh, a lot of muscles that I thought were just stuck in that position. And even a recent injury I had a couple of years ago here on my elbow, uh, we just started treatment on that and it's made a heck of a difference. I feel a lot more strength in my left arm now. It's been incredible the amount of, uh, of strength I've regained in that arm that I just had thought was gone forever. After leaving the chiropractor, I just loosen up a little bit. Uh, it helps my sleep, I relax a little bit more, and I just feel like my back's gonna be safe. It's helped me regain like a lot of range of motion. Um, I feel more limber and I feel stronger. I used to see chiropractors in the past but most chiropractors don't do the amount of things that you guys do. I love the convenience of having everything under one roof. Now, for the first time, you know, this year I started exercising regularly again, which I haven't done in a long time, and uh, my back hasn't given out. You know, I feel confident now going out there and increasing the amount of weight I'm lifting, you know, walking a little bit further, running a little bit further. These are all things that I just couldn't do anymore, so I'm just uh, overall just a happier person, you know, experiencing less pain. I've been feeling so much stronger and better since I started receiving care and treatment that I started to hit the gym again, started lifting weights, and then I noticed that there's a lot of weakness in this arm. My elbow started popping out. So I bought a compression sleeve. I said, hey, you know, maybe this will help. The sleeve was not cutting it. Uh, so I told Dr. Saul, say, hey, you know, just out of curiosity, could you check this out? It's not the reason why I came. And that's the beauty of this practice is as you get fixed, at least in my case, you kind of start to become aware of other things that were hurting. And a result of all of this, like, this is what hurts me, and him asking, well, does this hurt too? I've gotten a more complete care. Now I feel more energetic, I feel stronger, I feel like I can progress again. Which in my mind, you know, I'm 37 years old, <laughs> in my mind I was like, well, I'm 37. Heading into my 40s, you know, it's like a chill, chill period in life. It's all good. I'm not so bad, you know, but now I'm like, oh, no, heck no. You know, now, like, I got to make up for lost time, you know, now that I know that with the support I have here, I can actually accomplish these goals that I had essentially given up on. Now that I've been able to get um, some therapy, you know, some care here in all these different areas and even area, other areas I wasn't aware of, it's all coming together quite well. And I'm like, no, I can do that. And I will do that, you know, and it's gonna be great. When you get hurt and injured, I mean, you kind of enter like this dark place where you're just like, well, you know, there's no light anywhere. I'm gonna have to figure things out. And you kind of forget that there is light sometimes at the end of that tunnel. It's just a matter of finding, you know, finding it. And, you know, fortunately for me, thanks to a neighbor, you know, who's been my friend for many, many, many years, um, I would have never found this place. So I volunteered to share, you know, some of my experiences and story in the hopes that maybe somebody else will give it a shot and it will be as impacting as it's been in my life, so whatever it costs. When you're injured, that doesn't even matter. You know, it's because what you can do when you're not injured, it's your help. You know, I'm gonna live longer, I can work more, you know, I can make it up somewhere if I'm not in pain. And I know that I'm not the only one, there's gotta be lots of people out there that have just thrown in the towel and said, this is my new reality. I'd encourage those people to not give up and just keep trying. Because if you don't, then it really is the end. And that really is where you're going to end up. And that really is just it.